Hi guys, it's uh, well, I suppose technically Sunday morning as it is uh, just gone 10 to 1 in the morning. I was just gonna uh, play this game on Facebook, see if I can beat this villain. I'm always a hard bastard to beat. Uh, it's called Cookie Cats, and I've got the volume off one so I don't get copyrighted, and two, this intro song that they've just released for this 1001 cats thing is fucking dreadful it really is oh my god oh they did have the an olympic themed tune before this oh jesus look at this look i've had a haircut done it myself i've got the hair clippers and i've got the comb so i just stuck the grade two comb on or the number two comb and just zipped it over my head and then took the comb off and zipped it over my face. Uh, I'll get mum to check it tomorrow because obviously I can't see round the back so there might be... I can't feel anything extra fluffy or sticking up so I'm pretty certain I've got it all. Uh, what have I done today? Not a fucking lot. Uh, added some LED lights to Claudia, the hybrid bike. Uh, swapped some LED lights on the Rally Max. Because I had some sort of uh, classic LEDs from like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> I've got them over there. They're not very bright, and that's back when the front LEDs were always done with green LEDs. Which are not, strictly speaking, um, street legal now. If you read the highway code, it actually states you've got to have white to the front, red to the rear. Uh, yeah, so... But uh, as I decided I will use the Rally Max on a regular basis, at, especially at the moment because it's locked out back, I figured I'd better upgrade the LEDs to something a bit better. I only really put them on there as a show because, you know, it's a 1990s bike, put 1990s lights on it, but those old LEDs really were crap. Uh, what else have I done? PS3 on at the moment. I'm going to have a, a rampage with the cheats on. Once I've just done with the uh, cookie cats here. Oh, good message again. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just fucking knackered at the minute. I don't know why I'm feeling really tired. Uh, I'm going to Mother's tomorrow. I'll give her a ring when I'm ready. Uh, so it's usually around about sort of lunchtime, you know, twelve, one o'clock. Um, I would like to hopefully go a little bit earlier because I want to go to the dump, and I was going to load up with what I've got on the landing and take that to the dump, but I've sort of. Uh, sort of thought that uh, it might be easier to do it during the week when mum's just left off from work. Because uh, I can then ask her if we can just do a quick run to the dump just on the edge of town instead of take, drag it all the way out to hers. Uh, but either way I want it gone sooner rather than later because it's doing my head in. Not because Victory Housing sent me that letter complaining about it, it's just it does my head in when I've got it sitting there as well, so. I'm not bothered I got the letter. Well, I am. Just because I can't just click my fingers and do it. <laughs> you know, I don't have my own car to just think, right, I'll load it up and I'll take it to the dump tomorrow. Nope. I've got to ask other people and they've got to do it, you know, when they're free. And as mum works now, it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> uh, 
Not unless I can drag stepdad's ass to do it. <laughs> Although mum did suggest I ask him to throw some paint on my walls as well. We could both do it, you know. I'm, I don't mind. I'll buy all the paints and paintbrushes and whatnot. And rollers, you know, with two of us doing it, it's not going to take bloody long. Um, because I've decided. Whoops. I definitely I'm going to have to do that tray at some point as well, I think. I think I now know why that speed awareness sign was triggered at 82 miles an hour. <laughs> that motorcycle has just uh, given that away. Yeah, I've decided I want to decorate the bathroom, the hallway, and the kitchen. I'm not worried about bedroom and lounge for now. They're fine. Can't see fuck all because I ain't got the light on. <laughs> uh, guess what I had for dinner? I sold that money fox. Got 30 squids for it. I just stood on a spanner. I think I got a good price for it. I managed to change the um, faulty freewheel on it. Because uh, <laughs> someone came to look at it yesterday and it was too small for them. Well, they could have ridden it, to be honest, if they put the seat up, but they just figured it was too small. I think they were just using it as an excuse, but uh, I had a friend come over yesterday as well, and he took it for a test ride, and I could hear the chain crunching in sixth gear. So today, just to double check, I took it for a ride out here on the car park, and it did in fact crunch in six gear. Not the others, the others were fine, it was just six. So that told me the problem was on the freewheel. So I took that off and put another seven speed on, dropped it into sixth and seventh, no problem, no crunching, no slipping whatsoever. So another defunct freewheel that I didn't notice. So I've stuck that on, tweaked the brakes a little bit, and uh, yeah, the guy was happy with it. <coughs> Right, what else can I talk about? Jeremy Corbyn, he's been in the news again today. Because he sat on that train floor. I don't know why people are so up in arms about him sitting on a fucking train floor, to be honest. Oh yeah, well, word of warning. I'm going to be ranting about this Jeremy Corbyn's thing, so there's going to be a few F words dropped. But, uh, Anyway, you know, there's people calling him a liar because there was plenty of seats empty, but uh, then people came to Jeremy's defence and said the seats had reserve on them. And other people were like, yeah, but he could have still sat on it, you know, just using it as a stunt, blah, 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 blah. Doing whatever they can, you know, to say Mr. Corbyn was wrong. Um, well, I suppose he could have sat on the reserved seat if he wanted to, but he chose not to. So, you know, I think he's entitled to choose where he wants to sit. I mean, fuck me, I stand on the train. I stand where all the bikes and other large bits of luggage are um, stored. And I just lean on the shelf and look out the window, or I go stand where the door is and just look out the door window. That's just where I prefer. You know? You don't actually have to... Well, I've never been told to go sit down, anyway. The, um, you know, the conductor always comes along and takes my ticket or sells me a ticket if I've got to buy one. So... But uh, it's just amazing to me that people are up in arms about this and yet there's more important things at the moment that we should be getting up in arms about, such as cuts to the NHS. And if that is actually true, and what the papers have said is true, that hospitals could close wards to save money, then surely shouldn't we be... I'm going to sign that one, you pissed. Surely shouldn't we? Sh 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 yeah, surely we should be 
you know, more up in arms and in an uproar about cuts to such a service than uh, a politician sitting on a floor. You know, it's no wonder this country is falling into the state it's in because we can't even get up in arms about the right thing. We get up in arms about the most trivial bollocks we can. And never mind the stuff that matters. Might need to go make another glass of this. Oh, I've got a sword right where my belt buckle sits. And my jeans, where the button is, I always slides underneath the um, belt buckle, so the belt buckle rests on bare skin. And that's worn, well, along with scratching, I've now got a saw right there. <sighs> what else has gone on today? Well, we've been discussing fake Lego sets on a Lego train group. It's called Lepin. It's a Chinese company, I believe. And what this company is doing is releasing replica sets of discontinued sets that Lego had produced. Now, personally, I am a Lego fan. If it doesn't have the Lego name on the brick, I'm not interested. Um, which is pretty much why, if I can't afford it, I don't have it. <laughs> That's why I haven't got a train at the moment. I could get trains, because I could get these Lepin trains. Because they're a lot cheaper. Which I actually have to say, is very tempting. Because um, there's a lot of people saying that they are actually um, just as good as the actual Lego train. So, and to be honest, if you didn't really tell anyone, they probably wouldn't notice. Um, I don't know. I'd consider it. Um, but that would be breaking my own rules. Because, like I said, I really don't like it unless it's got a Lego name on it. Uh, yes, someone on that thread did say, you know, such things shouldn't be allowed to be discussed on a Lego group because it encourages people to go and buy the cheaper stuff rather than, you know, go straight to Lego, which is what we are meant to be fans of. I suppose the other way you could, like, uh, try again. The other way you could look at it is that a building brick is a building brick regardless of the brand on it. Now it could be Mega Blocks or one of these other weird brands. I think Click Brick is another one I can think of. Actually, I have to say Mega Blocks isn't too bad quality-wise. Um, I think. Being in, t in fact, I've got a couple of doors over there. I think they are uh, Lego blocks. That's because I like the style of door. I will use non-branded Lego parts if I like the style of the part. <sighs> I'm just trying to think. Anything else? Let's hope there is something down at uh, the recycling centre tomorrow. Could do with another toy to go sell. Tomorrow, if I feel up to it, I'll make a little vlog tomorrow when I get home from Mum's, which is usually around about half nine. It's only because after dinner she sits there playing bloody bingo on her laptop. We confiscate the friggin' laptop, I think. Oh dear, Mum, your laptop's broken. No, it's not. It will be. <laughs> I'm sort of debating whether... Whoa, I nearly dropped you. Sorry about that. 
I'm debating whether to take this HP out just in case I get bored and wanna you know just sit at the kitchen table with it or something <laughs> oh great I've got itchy toes now I think I'm going to have to get some athlete's foot cream again because I don't think I've got that coming I keep getting itchy toes I did have some somewhere uh, that might be what the itching is around my waistline it could be a bit of jock itch which when you're diabetic you do get That's the LED I put on the, um, or the style of LED I put on my uh, Rally Max. And I put the same style rear one on the um, hybrid to match the front one. <sighs> and the lens up. Oh, yeah, well, a bit of a crunch, but it will go back on there. Another one of these I could stick on a bike. Right, I've been through that whole drawer and I cannot find a power supply for that black HP laptop. <sighs> Tried to make one but the connector still won't fit properly. I'm actually wondering if it's got a bit of a dicky power connector on it. But that universal one, that connects fine. Or well, that seems to be the one with the better fit. I suppose I could charge up my uh, tablet and take that as an experiment. <laughs> Although the touch screen does get on my tits on that. Not as much as my black one over there. Really not sure what I'm going to do with that one. Oh, I haven't been babbling on for as long as I thought. Um... Brooks saddle still hasn't sold. So I don't know what to do with that. I've got those pedals to post, which I can't do till Tuesday, because it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend. Yeah. Which I hate, because it's like having two Sundays in a row. But I've also found out, this is aluminium. I was um, sticking a magnet on it earlier, and it wouldn't stick. <laughs> I actually thought that was steel. So that probably isn't as old as I thought. Which is probably why it didn't sell. <laughs> I was probably trying to sell it as an old stem and uh, others could see it wasn't as old as I was claiming it to be. Oh well, I could try relisting it aluminium so someone might go for it because it's a lightweight stem right I'll shut the video off I think yeah right oh dear I've got a bit of wind might have to go deal with that first before I do anything else. Uh, daylight! Right. So, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, hopefully, make a little vlog tomorrow and hopefully I'll have something I can show. I haven't got anything I can show you. I've not come across anything. Anyway, see you tomorrow.